Hey, what's up? It's Mr. Be Active. I'm here with your new workout today. And the workout that I've created and that you're going to be doing is a very special workout. It's for those dreary kinds of days, those days where you really don't want to get outside and you don't want to do much and you just want to hang out on the couch. Well, that's perfect because today we're going to be doing the couch potato workout. This is a workout for you that you can do at the couch, on the couch, around the couch, and really takes advantage of using the couch as one of your pieces of exercise equipment. Although we're going to be doing this in intervals, this is a workout that has exercises that you could do individually as well. So I call it the couch potato workout. One, yes, we're using the couch, but two, maybe you're going to do it while you're watching a movie or between commercials and you're not going to do it with the intervals that we're going to do in this workout today. But it gives you some exercises that you can just pop in when you want to get some movement in the mix of binging your Netflix show or doing whatever you may be doing at the couch. So let's get into our warm up and then I'll introduce the movements. Okay, so for a warm up, let's start with a spider lunge and reach. Let's set ourselves up into that push up hold position. Hands under shoulders, feet shoulder width apart or hip width apart. We're gonna step forward. Try to get that foot outside of your one hand. Keep your knee off the ground or drop it, depending on what feels most comfortable. Reach up to the ceiling. Hold that. Bring it back down. Come up and switch. We're just looking to open up our chest, get some movement through our mid upper back. Get some movement in our hips and a nice stretch in our hips. Just starting it off nice and light. Good. Get a couple more here. Now with this couch workout, you're going to find that the exercises can be done with or without the couch. So if you don't have a couch handy or you don't want to use the couch or some of the couch variations maybe are too challenging for you. Um, then don't worry about it. Do it on the ground. The couch, however, is not just going to be something that we're going to use to make exercises more challenging. It's also going to be something we'll use to make the exercises a little bit more manageable. Okay, let's go into down dog to cobra. So we're going to still stay here in this push up hold position, but now we're going to pike, drop and raise your heels to get a good stretch through your calves. And then drop into push up hold, pause, and then down to cobra. Try to bring your hips to the ground, looking up to the ceiling. Get your hips back into child's pose, up to down dog. Again, raising and dropping your heels just to get a little extra calf stretch. Push up hold, dropping yourself here to cobra. Try to keep your shoulders away from your ears. Hips back. Up. Do this a couple more times. It's nice when we can use things that we have at home to start doing our workouts and where we can use familiar, comfortable spaces. Sometimes that can be a hindrance to being productive, you know, sitting around the couch. But it's where we relax. It's a place we enjoy, a place we're comfortable. We can also use it to get some work done. Let's do our last one here. Nice job. Okay. Still on the ground here, we're going to have our knees under our hips, our hands under our shoulders, and we're going to do a goalie stretch. So now I'm going to extend my one leg and push my hips back into goalie stretch, keeping my chest proud. Walk out of it, inhale, exhale, getting a nice stretch on the inside line of that leg through those groin muscles. It's good to make sure you're focusing that breathing, inhaling as you come out of it, exhaling as you go back into it. Good, let's switch to the other side. Stick that leg out. If you need to get a bit more of a stretch, just 
Get your knee outside of your hip a little bit more. Still keeping those hands under shoulders. Rock back and forward. Exhale. Inhale. There you go. This is usually a stretch that really um, makes people aware of how tight they are. So you want to just take your time, ease back into it. There you go. Nice job. Bring that leg in. Okay, well, let's walk through our exercises as part of our warm up here. We've got seven exercises that we're going to do. The work to rest ratio, or the intervals timing wise, is going to be 35 seconds of work followed by 25 seconds of rest. So it's a very generous amount of rest. There's not a lot of cardiovascular focus in this workout with regards to uh, low rest times, high work times. We don't have really many cardio specific movements. We just want to get in some really good movement and some good uh, core work as we go through this workout. So stick with me here. The first one we're going to do is squats and a great way to warm up into our squats is just to do a box squat. So we're going to squat down to the couch, come up, make sure your feet are hip width apart, heels outside of your hips, toes out a little bit, keep your chest proud, sit down, come up, sit down, come up. Now using the bench or the couch is something that you can do in the workout itself. Now, if you want to get a little bit deeper, which is great for this warm up, and we're unloaded, so it's nice and safe here, is use the couch just as a little bit of a balance tool, a little bit of help. You can squat down. It's okay if your back rounds a little bit here. Again, this is unloaded. It's just body weight. We can rock side to side, get a little stretch, come up, and do that again. Use the couch for a little bit of help. Rock down. Move side to side. Get a little stretch in our hamstrings and our hips and come up. Let's do that one more time. Rock down, use it if you need it. Rock and then come up. Nice. Okay, get a couple more squats, body weight in the air or on the couch. Get through that movement, making sure we're driving through our heels we're pulling ourselves down, pulling those hips down, keeping that chest proud. Good. All right, the second movement we're gonna do is push-ups. So, starting on the ground, hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips, and then extend out. Just start with this push-up hold, okay? Pressing into the floor. Now, if being on the ground for push-up hold is already hard enough, then we can do it on the couch. Set up the same way, hands under shoulders, just a little bit ahead of you. Nice and straight from our heels to our head, okay? For our push-up, whether you're on the ground or on the couch, you're gonna pull yourself down until your elbows are in line with your ribs. That's your goal. If you can't get that low, that's okay for now. We're gonna pull yourself down. Exhale, come up. Inhale, pull yourself down. Exhale, bring yourself up, all right? So you can do it on the ground or on the couch. You can do actual push-ups or just do the push-up hold, and that's fine too, okay? If you're doing the push-ups and you're finding that you're not being able to do them anymore, you could also lower, drop your knees, come up, lower, drop your knees, and come up, whether it's on the floor or at the couch. The third exercise is gonna be your side plank. Make sure that your elbow is under your shoulder, shoulder is under your other shoulder. Get your hips up. You can stack your knees with bent legs, stick out your leg, stick out both legs, and then we're gonna give the option of making it tougher by putting our feet on the couch. And I'll give you some other variations to make it even harder than that. So lots of options for side plank. We're gonna split it one side, then switch and do the other side. That's gonna be quick, so make sure to be ready for that. Glute bridge, lying on our back, great part of a warm up as well. Heels pretty close to your hips. Okay, drive your heels into the ground, squeeze your glutes, pause, tap down. Squeeze, digging your heels in, pause, tap down. Make sure not to overarch your back or really arch your back at all. Stay nice and tight here. Squeeze, squeeze, tap down. 
How are we going to advance this at the couch? We're going to increase our range of motion demand here. Shoulders. So you want the space just between your shoulder blades up against the couch. Dig your heels in. Up, down, up, down. Keep your eyes looking straight forward as you do it. Squeeze your glutes, staying tight in here, and down. Okay? You can do feet flat or heels. Okay? If you do your feet flat, you get a little bit more of your quads engaged in that as well. Okay? Next one. Going to be a bit of a new one. This is an isometric back exercise. It's a knee pull. So what we're going to do is put our foot on the couch. If you need to get your foot a little bit higher, you set it up with a couple pillows. Okay. We're going to put our foot on the couch and we're going to do a pull. So from here, I'm going to interlock my fingers, put them around my knee. I'm going to get into a bit of a lunge here. Okay. And now all I'm going to do is pull my shoulder blades back. I'm going to think about pulling my elbows back here. One two, three, relax. One, two, three, relax. If that angle or balancing on the couch is a bit tough, you can do it here. Okay, sitting my heel, uh, my hips down on my heel, interlock finger, nice and proud, pull. Trying to pull my elbows back. One, two, three, relax. One, two, three, relax. Okay, so a bit of an unconventional back exercise using isometrics. But it's tough to do back exercises when we don't have any equipment. All right, last two exercises. We're going to do our pillow hops. Pillow in the middle. You can step over, step over. You can two feet hop, or you can do a skater jump. Okay? That's, these are, this is kind of the closest to a cardiovascular specific exercise that we have. You can do it nice and slow. You can do it nice and fast. If you do it slow, you might just be really focusing in on the balance. And the last one is mountain climbers. Set up and push up hold. Nice and slow, bringing them in. If you need to tap to control it a bit more, you can tap that foot down. If you need to make it a bit more manageable, do it up here on the couch. And I'll show you how you can make it tougher as we go through the workout. So get your water bottle ready. Make sure the space is clear. Make sure whoever else is watching TV while you're working out at the couch is okay with you maybe breathing a little bit harder and working out. And we're going to get ready to rock. We are going to start with those squats. So in 10 seconds, you got to be ready to rumble. Here we go. Set up with your hips on the couch or do it in the air. We're starting three. Two, one, here we go. 35 seconds of squats. Even if you're really confident with your squats, it doesn't hurt to do them at the couch. Just tap your hips down lightly and then get yourself standing tall. That's halfway. Just a really good way to control that movement. You're going to be sure not to drop too low. If you have trouble controlling the squat, that's where the couch really helps. So we've got one more squat left. Awesome. There are your squats. First interval done. Great option using the couch, especially for those of you who struggle with controlling that lowering portion. If you have trouble at the end of that and you kind of usually drop a bit, it's nice. The couch is going to catch you and you're going to be just fine. For those of us who are a little bit more experienced, just helps us control a bit more. We're gonna do our push-ups now. So push-up hold or actual push-ups. Find what's gonna be right for you. If you need to do lowers, then do lowers. Tap your knees, do a knee push-up. Tap your knees, do a knee push-up. That option is there. Some of you might need to be on the couch. Do it on the couch. Use that. Make it a bit more manageable. Got a couple more left here. Three. Reset any time. One. Three. Good. That's your last one. Shake it out a little bit here. Okay. We're moving into our side plank. Now remember, we can do our side plank on the floor 
or we can do our side plank with our feet elevated on the couch. We're gonna switch halfway through, switch sides. So just be ready for that quick switch. I'm gonna set myself on the floor and I'll work through the progressions here. So level one is knees bent. Level two, top leg extends. Next level, both feet extend. All of those, I keep my elbow under my shoulders. If you wanna make it tougher, feet up. Ooh, we're almost at the halfway mark. Good, switch to the other side. Find the right option for you. If you're on the couch, just turn your body around, get that other side of your foot up on the couch. Hold it strong. Don't let your hips drop. Squeeze those glutes. Push hips forward. Down. Awesome. That one, we're really going to find ways to challenge it for those of you who want more of a challenge. But, you know, it's nice in this first time through to just kind of progress ourselves. We've got glute bridge coming up. Set yourself up on the ground here. All right? Lying on your back. Heels in close. Three, two, one. All right, let's get it. Drive your heels into the ground, squeeze your glutes, stay nice and tight. Tap down, squeeze, down, squeeze. I'm gonna move myself to the couch, setting up shoulders, increase that range of motion. You do wanna make sure that your knees aren't going past your toes. So have your 90 degree angle right there. Squeeze, I'm looking straight forward as I do this the whole time. Driving those heels into the ground. One. Last one. Good. Knee pulls, either with that leg on the couch, like this, in that lunge position, That's pulling those hands in, pulling those elbows back. Might be not super comfortable for some of you. So then you can set up here, half kneeling, Two. sit your hips one. down. Here we go. Pull, relax, pull those elbows back, relax, pull back, relax, good, switch to the other side, just because it's off center having that leg there, I'm being active with my leg as well, I'm really pushing this knee forward as I'm pulling in, one, Two, three, three relax. Two, One, two, three. three, relax. Awesome. Bit of a strange one. Something new to try out. We're going to our pillow hops. Set your pillow up in the middle of your space. That's halfway. You've got those nice controlled hops that you can do. Stepping over, tap. Tap or two feet, two feet, or doing that skater. So let's start it. Here, tap. You can go as quickly or as slowly as you want. If you want to practice the balance, practice the balance. Or two feet, or that skater with that wider jump. Halfway, balance. You want to pause and stick it. Pause and stick it. Pause and stick it. Get over that pillow. Stick it. Stick the landing. Two. One more time each side. Three. Yes. Woo. That's nice. Okay. Going to our mountain climbers. Start it on the couch or bring it down to the floor. Okay. In 10 seconds. Just like the push-up hold or push-ups, stay solid in that midsection. Push your hands down into the floor or the couch. Here we go. You can go nice and slow, which will challenge more of the core stability, which is what I want you to do this time. In our last interval, we're gonna do it nice and fast, but we're gonna make sure that we look just the same through our body as we do when we're doing it slow, which means nice and rigid, straight from heels to head. Excellent. Excellent job. So we've got a minute Rest. of recovery here. Get a sip of water. Okay. 
get yourself just thinking about those movements we did. What was the right variation for you? We started with squat. Are you going to be using the couch? Are you going to be doing it in the air? Uh, we had our push-ups or push-up hold. Hands up. Maybe that's the right one for a lot of us. Hands up on the couch is just that's perfect. Right. Okay? If your push-ups start falling apart, you start losing that tension in your midsection, your hips start dropping, don't even do the push-ups anymore. Just do the push-up hold. We got our side plank, glute bridges. Probably a lot of us could do those shoulder elevated glute bridges. Uh, the knee pulls, which is a funky one. If you've got a band at home, just do some pull aparts. Our pillow hops, pretty self-explanatory, and our mountain climbers. So let's get back to squats here. We're starting in about three seconds. Set yourself up. One, here we go. Squats, control it. Pull yourself down, stand up tall. Find a pace. That's right for you. If you have weights at home, can you use weights with a couch potato workout? You certainly can. You can help yourself get more of a challenge by doing that or just speed it up. That is an option as long as you are controlling that movement. Last one. Whew, 35 seconds of squats. Even without weight, that's a really nice challenge. Okay, we're going to the push-ups. Again, push-up hold or push-ups here. If you need to do a push-up and drop your knees and reset, you can do that, whether it's on the floor or up here. I'm gonna give something a little bit tougher for those of you who need a little bit more. Here we go. Feet elevated push-ups. This is for the people who need a little bit more. Okay, body straight, lowering, still try to get elbows in line with ribs, keeping That's your hips from dropping to the ground. And just because you chose the tough one doesn't mean you can't get a little reset. You can. That's it. Keep those shoulders away from your ears. Two. Last push up. Three. Whoa. That immediately makes it a whole new a whole new game when you elevate those feet. Okay, we're going to side plank. Side plank it. Strict on the ground with either your knees bent, a leg out, two legs, or put a foot up. I'm gonna put a foot up. Three, two, one. Here we go. Side plank. Remember, elbow under shoulders. Don't let your hips drop. Squeeze those glutes, pushing those hips up. And forward straight as a board. Woo! Got that nice L shape, sideline L shape here. If you have to reset, reset. Come back up. Woo! We're now to the other side. I can't see you now. I'm trusting you're doing the work. Don't drop those hips. Push this foot into the ground or into the couch. Three. Stay solid. One, three. Good. Whew, how did that feel? Do you feel that increased challenge with those feet up? Again, simple ways to make the same position, same movement, much more challenging. Okay, using our trusty couch. We're going to our glute bridges on the ground here, whoop, on the ground here, or at the couch. Okay, here we go. Up, make sure you got the 90 degree. Don't let your knees Go past your ankles. I like to dig my heels in with my toes up. I'm gonna look straight forward. Halfway. Squeeze, down. Drive your heels in, down. Exhale as you drive your heels in. Three, two, one, three. Nice job. Okay, knee pulls. Something you could do if it's awkward to reach around your knee this way. That's halfway. Grab a pillow. Grab the corners, grab the sides, make sure it's not a special pillow that your grandma embroidered, that your Three. parents are gonna be mad that you wrecked. One. Here we go. Pull. pull. One, two, three. Relax. One. 
two, three, relax. Two, three, relax. One, two, three, relax. Switch sides. Two, three, relax. I might just wreck this pillow. Ah, two, three, relax. I'll have to hide it under the couch. One, two, three, relax. One, two, three, relax. Oh, no. Looks good. Looks good. Puff it up a bit. Looks just the same. Okay, we're going to our pillow hops. Decide how much movement you can get here, here. Two feet requires a little more coordination, a little less control on the landing, unless you've got a little bit more experience. Here we go. Or two feet. Or skater it. Big leaps, Ooh, one touch that water bottle. When I get to the couch, I've got my reference points. Lost balance there a little bit. Talking too much. There we go. Control it. Control it. Try to control. Foot flat. Then push away. Foot flat. Yes. That's the ticket. Okay, mountain climbers. A way that we can make the mountain climbers hard a little bit harder if we're on the floor is even just putting our hands on the pillow because it's not as stable as the solid floor for regular mountain climbers or we can make it a bit more manageable here or challenge it a bit more feet elevated don't look at your feet look down on the ground control you can make it tougher Touch knee. If you can make it to your knee, it's okay. If you can't, pause. Try to keep that body straight. Try to keep that body straight. You can do it. You can do it. Whatever variation you got here. Whoa. Whoop. That's two times through, gang. One last time. Now... I typically make workouts that have a little bit more of a cardiovascular demand. You know, we have those higher work intervals, a little bit less rest, get a lot of cardiovascular exercises, cardiovascular specific exercises in there. Although the whole workout, be, because we use this interval style, is often very cardiovascular. But today, it's kind of moderate on the cardio. You know, you can hear me breathing a little bit, but we're focusing a lot more on just getting good movements. So if I'm giving these more advanced, more challenging options, and it's just like, it's hard for you to be able to get the reps done, do not do them. Stick with what you're able to do really confidently right now. This is our last round, starting with squats. Here we go. Off the couch, in the air. If you want to make it more challenging in the air, one, two, Three, pause, up. One, two, three, pause, up. You can do that on the couch too. That's halfway. Pause it, up. Use what you have, do what you can. If you want to give it a little bit more pep, one, two, three, tap, jump. Tap, jump. One, two, three, jump. One, two, three, jump. Okay, squats, out of here. Done. No more squats in this workout. Moving on to the push-ups. Are you doing it with hands up on the couch? Push-ups or push-up hold? Are you going to do conventional on the ground? Push-ups or push-up hold? Or feet elevated? It is your choice. Here we go. Push-up. And then I'm going to make a push-up on the ground. Mixing it up a little bit. For those of you who can do push-ups on the couch, but it ends up being a bit much on the couch. That's halfway. With your feet up. You can mix them. And then if it becomes too much with the couch at all, 
Just straight up on the floor. Whoop. Three. Last one. One. There you go. Right? We can always play with it. That's what I love about creating these workouts and getting you more confident in these movements. You can go back and forth and find the right mix for you. We're at our side plank. Let's set up. I'm going to set up on the couch. I'm going to just do my top leg on. Side plank. This is pretty tough. This leg is not going to do the work. This top leg is. This is an adductor side plank or a Copenhagen side plank. Still lining up shoulder or elbow under shoulders. It's tough though. These hips want to drop. Push that foot down. Switch to the other side. Whoop. This is going to up the ante. You're going to feel it. You're going to be happy we stretched out those adductors. Keep pushing that foot down into the couch. Ooh, ooh, that's spicy. Oh my gosh. Just threw some sriracha on that sandwich. Okay, glute bridges on the ground. Shoulders up. We can do heels up. Here we go. Squeeze, tap down. Drive your heels and squeeze, tap down. Just another option. Drive those heels in, pause. Want to make it a bit tougher. Up, march, march, down. Up, march, march, down. Just giving you a little something else that you can try. Maybe not this time, maybe next time. And that's your last one. Boom. Woo, woo, I like that. That little march in there. Okay, knee pulls. If you don't want to wreck the pillow, maybe you've got a throw blanket that you always use at the couch that you can put around your knee. Really doesn't matter. Or do it from here again. Pull the shoulders back. I can use the pillow. One, two, three, relax. One, Two, three, relax. I'm not thinking about pulling those shoulders up. I'm thinking about pulling those elbows back. Three seconds. Good. Switch to the other side. Two, three, relax. Pull the sides or corners of that pillow. Pull those elbows back. Three, two, one. Ah, nice. Okay. We've got a couple left here. We've got our pillow hops and our mountain climbers. And then that's it, gang. You've done a great job. We're finishing up this third cycle through. Hopefully gave you some ideas of things that you can do at your couch. Don't have to do the whole workout, except for this time. Okay, let's get ready. One. Hopping, hopping, hopping. Or I got something new for you. Tap in, tap out. If you want to switch it up, you can do this nice and quick, or those hops, or those skaters, or let's not forget the two foot hops. Really control the landing on the two foot hops, okay? So, choose what you want. Again, hopefully this isn't your dad's favorite pillow, or your grandpa, or grandma, or whoever. Whoever's in your family, their favorite pillow, that you're getting your feet all over. Break. Break. At least don't, don't let them see you do it, okay? Don't tell them. Try to take care of that stuff. Last one, mountain climbers. On the floor, or make it more manageable, hands on the couch, or make it harder, hands on the floor, feet on the couch. I'm gonna go hands on the couch, and I'm gonna go speed climbers, okay? Here we go. I like this, because it's easier for me to keep my straight body when I have my hands elevated, gives a lot of clearance for my knees, and I can go quick. What I don't want is this twist or this drop. So try as hard as you can to tighten that midsection. There we go. Tighten that midsection and keep that alignment, that straight body, almost there. Whew. 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 
Couple more seconds. Straight body. Two, one. Break. Double high five. Boom, boom. That's it, gang. That's the couch potato workout. So what'd you think? Did you find some exercises in there that are realistic for you? I hope so. The couch can make an exercise more manageable or tougher, just like a bench at the gym. The nice thing is, it's from the comfort of your own home. So hopefully you're willing to take on some more challenging exercises and maybe get the person that you love watching movies with to join in with you. All right, excellent job. Stick with it, folks. We're in the quarantine right now. If you're watching this around the time I posted it, keep yourself moving. Check out more of the videos here on this channel. And I wish you all the best and take care. Bye-bye. For you Hornets, okay, code word is going to be potato chips. A double word, potato chips. All right? Great job.